Setting up and preparing your boat properly can make all the difference to your fishing sessions. When there's a hot bite, the last thing you want is to lose fish from not having a well prepared boat. This is a short video to show you how I set up my Edgewater 188cc for solo fishing to make my time on the water as productive and efficient as possible. I like to have my rods and reels pre-rigged before I hit the water to save time when I get to my fishing spot. I take a combination of light, medium and medium heavy depending on what I'm fishing for. Soft plastics, lures, stick baits, just depends on what time of year and what species I'm chasing. The back corner of my boat is my workstation. I like to have everything at arm's reach and laid out and really organized so I can get to things quickly. I've got a small esky here, which I use for bait. And then below that, I've got some tackle storage with some trays of terminal tackle. And then I've got a tool bench here, which has got my pliers, my knives, my scissors, my bait net, and also a tackle tray for used tackle to go in at the end of the day. In this storage compartment here in the back corner, I've got three tackle trays. First one's got all my lead, some jig hooks, swivels, and so forth. Second tray, fast retrieve metals, and some octa jigs. Top tray, soft plastic jig heads, pre-made gang hooks, and some trebles and live bait hooks. Always need to get to those things pretty quick and that's really super convenient in that corner. It's good to take advantage of any space that you've got for storage on a boat. And when I bought this boat, there was a nice gap here under the helm seat. So I made a box to fit where I can store a lot of my bits and pieces. And what I keep in here is a selection of soft plastics, pre-made rigs, leader, hooks that I use on a regular basis, and some tools. In the second compartment, I've got trays of lures. I've got knife jigs, I've got trolling skirts, and then the second tray, I've got trolling lures, poppers, stick baits, and then in the first drawer, I've got an assortment of different lures. Also at arm's length here, I've got a plumbed live bait tank for keeping my live baits fresh for the whole session. Under my right side gunnel, I've got a gaff hook and a landing net so I can easily land fish by myself. Under the left side gunnel, I like to have another rod and rig here, which I use for collecting live bait. My console is laid out really conveniently. I've got my GPS sounder here, my motor instrumentation here, a VHF radio here, EPIRB is just below where I'm driving, and I can see the GPS and sounder from any position at the back of the boat. So at the front of the boat here, we've got a really practical layout. We've got a casting platform, which when we open is also a fish storage box. And I've got my electric Minn Kota motor fitted to the front here. And then we've got an anchor well here, which also gives me access to charging my batteries. And then here we've got an esky, which I use for uh, food and ice for the day. You can never have enough rod holders on a boat. So as well as the four that I've got fitted here to the helm seat and the two that I've got on each gunnel, I've added a few more to the boat. I've added two more at the rear here. I've added two more to the windscreen rail. Also added one to the bow rail up the front here so I can put the rod in it when I'm de-hooking fish. And there's also plenty of other storage areas on the boat, including a really good space under the center console for heaps of tackle, safety gear, batteries. There's another really convenient storage area under the helm seat, which I use for storing my camera gear and other terminal tackle. And there's also another convenient storage area under the left side corner seat, which you can also use for uh, tackle boxes and uh, any, other, any other bits and pieces that you need to store away. So that's a quick rundown of how I set up my boat so I can work fast and really efficient as a solo angler. Thanks for watching and please leave your comments or questions below.